Hey everybody, it's Aaron here, the Handy Outdoor Nerd. Thank you for joining me in this part two of making a gear in Fusion 360 to fix the Icon Officio 3228C printer. Without further ado, let's jump into Fusion 360 and get this started. All right, everybody, so we have opened up a new screen in Fusion 360. We're gonna start by hitting Control S to save it. We're gonna name it Gears number three. Enter, go up to Sketch. Create sketch. We're going to select this bottom plane. I'm going to scroll on in. Good C for circle. We're going to take it up to 28 millimeters. We're going to drag this little arrow out and down. C for circle again. This one's going to be 15. I'm going to do the exact same thing. Toss it up here. And one more circle. This one is going to be eight millimeters. And we're gonna do the same thing with this one. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is align. We want from here straight down and enter and another line. We want straight up. All right, so then we're gonna want another one going here. And then from there, we're gonna go here and enter. I'm gonna give this one a distance already from here to here. It needs to be 57.8. Then we're gonna do another line from here to here and from here to there. We're going to give this a distance of 57.8 as well. And it did not lock, so we're going to do it <coughs> the same here. Now we need one more line. It's going to go from here on down. Gonna give this one zone of 22.6 degrees. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and select all the outer perimeters. Once we got all those selected, we're gonna select these two inner ones here. We're gonna extrude it up, out 12 millimeters. So it should end up looking a little bit like the Green Lantern symbol. So once we get that done, we're gonna go back to Edit Sketch. And we're gonna take these two here, these outside parts, we're gonna extrude these two, 15 millimeters. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to Modify, we're gonna hit Combine, select one at a time select this edge, F for fillet, we want 12.5, and then we're going to go and modify and do the exact same thing to the other side. Now once we get this done, oh come on, here we go, fillet 12.5, <clears throat> excuse me, going to go ahead and edit the sketch again. Now we're going to select the parts that we did not have selected last time. And those ones are going to be extruded up 15 millimeters. And then we're going to go ahead and combine them to this as well. Next thing we're going to do is go ahead and select top, move on down. We're going to go ahead and hit L for line. We want the top part here. We want here down two millimeters. I'm going to do one more line. We're going to take it up just, let's say, 0.25. <coughs> Excuse me. And get another line. We want 0.5. 
and then a line going out the other way, 0.5 as well. And then up at the top here, we want a line. We want it to be 1.25, and then out the other side, the exact same 1.25, because it needs to be 2.5 all across. So we're gonna select line again, go down, let's close everything off. Once that's done, we can exit, and then we can go ahead and shift and select all these parts. E for extrude, we're gonna zoom out and shift and rotate. Not zoom in. We're gonna change from distance to object. We're gonna select this back part and then chain faces. We want extend faces to this side and select OK. Once that's done, what we're gonna do is go up to create and in create, we're gonna go down to pattern. We want a circular pattern. So we're gonna go ahead and select these faces and now we want to select our axes. What we want is the edge here. What that's gonna allow it to do is go all the way around. So we got that selected. It says three is gonna give us, we don't want three, we want 26 teeth. And there you have it. There is our other gear that we needed. So let's go ahead and toss this onto the printer. We'll be right back. Alright everybody, that is the end of this video. Thank you for following along as I make gears in Fusion 360 to fix the Icon Officio 3228C printer. Do not forget to tune in next time when we take all these gears and put them in the Icon printer to see if we can fix that paper jam. So if you have not already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and do not forget to ring that bell to be notified when videos like this are uploaded. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. And do not forget to give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video and share it if you like it. Until then, happy printing everybody and take care.